Hey guys, so I thought I would do my 33 week um, pregnancy update. Um, I think I'm getting a cold. <clears throat> I woke up this morning and I felt like really nauseous and it was really hard to get out of bed. Now my nose is starting. One side feels like it's getting clogged. The other side feels slightly runny. And um, my lips are like chapped and like cracking and um so yeah so I'm sorry for the way that I look um and I'm in my pajamas as you can see I'm wearing a nightgown that is one that I got for how my husband bought me for Halloween like two years ago um so yeah so I look like poo and I apologize um I am going to a barbecue today in about two hours, and I'm still sitting around in my pajamas, and I'm probably just going to throw a dress on or something since I'm not feeling good. Um, it's a barbecue for my grandpa's 76th birthday, so that should be, should be fun, but we'll see how I'm feeling. Um, there's a pool and stuff, so maybe that'll help, I don't know. Um, but, um, I'm doing my 33 week pregnancy update. I am 33 weeks and five days right now, I think. Um, I've been trying to do these a little bit earlier. Um, I usually do it when I, like, so for example, I should be doing this video on when I on Wednesday when I do turn 34 weeks and then yeah, but um they've been taking a little while to upload. So I've been doing them a couple days early. Um today is Sunday, July 19th. So um tomorrow I have my at-home nurses coming at 1 o'clock. Um, and she's usually here no more than like 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending on what we're talking about. And then at 4 o'clock, I have a doctor's appointment. Um, I have a doctor's appointment every Monday unless I'm busy and I need to schedule it for a different day. But, um, I go in once a week, as you guys know, to get on the monitors so they can listen to the baby's heartbeat. Make sure I'm not having attractions or anything like that. So, um that's tomorrow and then I'll probably end up either I'll do a video on it later that day and then like add it on to this or I'll just go ahead and add it to my um when I do my next week uh vlog or um update and so that's what I have tomorrow um and so, I haven't had, like, any symptoms or anything. Um, last night, I did have really bad, like, acid reflux, but, um, it was because, and I know why, because I've told you guys what, like, really causes it is, like, if I have, like, ketchup or, like, like, tomato stuff. Well, last night, we ended up not eating dinner until, like, 9 o'clock at night, um, because we were super busy. We were, I guess you could almost say we were, like spring cleaning even though it's not going to be spring <laughs> um but I mean we cleaned out closets we got rid of clothes we got rid of shoes um we rearranged our bedroom to make sure it's ready for the new baby and that the bassinet will fit into the room um and you know we washed our whole bedding um we had the front room clean. My husband deep cleaned both the bathrooms for me. I folded probably four loads of laundry. We just made sure we did, you know, because we did the bedding and everything. And then clothes. And we got, like, the house as clean as possible. Um, I have to do dishes now, though, because from lunch yesterday and then dinner, we didn't... I hadn't done the dishes because I was just worn out from doing all the other cleaning. But, um... Yeah, I don't really know what my point was for that, but yeah, we cleaned, like, the whole house and stuff. And, um, to, you know, he was off and I was kind of, like, wanting to nest. And, I mean, I really can't do much, so that's what, you know, like, I did what I could. 
And, um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. But I'm not going to put the bassinet into the room yet because, um, my mom and my sister are babysitting the girls in, like, a week and a half while we go to the beach. And, um, I don't want it to get ruined, um, if they're, like, not paying attention to the kids. I don't want, like, Savannah crawling into it or Emily crawling into it and then it breaks when I get back from the beach and then I have no bassinet. So... I'm going to leave the bassinet in the garage, and then maybe when we get back from the beach, um, I will put it in the room so that way that it's ready and, and everything, or at least after the baby shower for sure, um, so I can put diapers and stuff in the bottom of it. Because um, as you guys know, we don't have anything right now. My husband is like, the only thing that we bought was like, I bought a bag of clothes um, for like 15 bucks or something, and then I bought that bassinet. And I paid like 40 bucks for it. And then I bought a package of brand new bottles for like 10 bucks. Um, anything else that we have was given to us, which is mainly clothes or uh, boy blankets or receiving blankets. Um, and then I got a free car seat from my, um, through my, um, my insurance. Um, but next week we are buying a stroller car seat set because the car seat that we got is like one I feel more for is best when they're a toddler because it's not a carry one that you can just like take them out of the base and you know put it in the car seat you would have to take your baby out I don't want to have to take the baby out every time um so we are getting one you know, that we can also, and I have to pick, when I have the baby, Chanel will be going back into school. She goes back to school August 31st, and my due date is September 2nd. So, I'm going to have help the first few weeks getting her picked up and, like, to school and stuff. But then after that, I have to walk down and do it, because we only have one vehicle. Um, and it takes me almost, like, 20 minutes to get there. So, I need a stroller that fits the car seat in it because he's going to be too little to be just in the car seat. But anyway, so I'm getting that next week and that's it. But we have nothing right now. Like, um, my sister let me borrow a diaper bag, but then she told me I could go ahead and have it as an extra to, like, keep in the car because there's a certain one that I really, really want. And if I don't get it for my baby shower, I'm going to buy it. Um, so I, I've packed it a little bit because we are going to the beach and we want to bring that car seat and we want to bring... I need to pack the diaper bag just in case we do have a baby. But I really have, like, nothing to put in it. I have some clothes, some receiving blankets, and then a good size blanket for him. But I mean, like, um, I don't even have diapers. My sister is letting me borrow the diapers. Like, I can't open it, so I have to bring the whole pack. Um, she's letting me borrow the diapers. And I think they're a size 1. They're not even newborn ones. But I'm sure I can take some from the hospital, I'm sure. But uh, just be safe. I need... I wanted to bring some diapers for on the way home. It's a six hour drive. If I do have the baby where we're going, it's a six hour drive back home. So, um, she's letting me use the diapers that she's using for the diaper raffle at my baby shower. So hopefully I don't have to open them and use them. But, um, she's letting me bring those because I don't have anything right now. And my husband really just doesn't want to buy anything else until after the baby shower. Um, because we don't want to buy something that somebody is going to give us. We just got the main, like, things, or, like, the bassinet is kind of an expensive thing, especially if you were to buy it new, so we went ahead and got it, and then the car seat strollers that we, we've bought every time, and then the playpen we've bought every time for the kids, um, our kids, and then, so we just hope for the other stuff. Um, so yeah, I kind of am rambling about random different things but anyways I haven't had any symptoms um except I don't know if it's a symptom but I toss and I turn all night um because if I lay on one side too long my leg gets numb so I have to roll over the other side um Emily the last like few weeks probably a month has been she at least comes into our room if not ends up falling asleep in our bed with us in the middle, I'm gonna go to Chelsea's house and swim. Um, I can't swim. You can't swim. That's why mommy holds you, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Um, what was I saying? Oh, Emily sleeps in the bed with us, and she, like, sleeps, like, sideways, and her head usually ends up by Spencer, and then her feet always end up by my belly, so she's, like, either, if I'm facing her with my belly, she's constantly kicking it, um, so I usually try to face the other way, so I'm not getting kicked. Oh, no! And, um, and then I also have to get up a lot to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that he dropped. I mean, I feel like he dropped yesterday. Um, my belly is not as tight as it was. Um, the saggy part has gotten saggy again. And he's not up as high. I can breathe a little bit better. And my um, pelvic area has been pretty sore and kind of crampy. Like he, um, like he had dropped. So, when I show you guys my belly, you can decide, which I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but, um, with a shirt on. But, uh, so yeah, I think he's dropped, and I've just been having, like, sore body, pretty much. Just, like, I'm ready to, seriously, like, I'm ready for him to, like, come. Like, I, you know, I want him to stay in there until, like, well, you know, as long as he can. Um, I'm gonna be 34 weeks, but... I'm definitely ready to have him, um, but not until at least after the baby shower. Uh, so, I mean, he can come anytime after August 8th since that's when we're having the baby shower. And I will be 38 weeks then, so yeah, he can come then. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I don't really have any symptoms. I'm, you know, lately... My blood sugars have been good. Um, I'll find out how much if I've gained any weight. Um, the last two weeks have been the same. Well, technically, the, the first week I guess I would have gained some weight, like three pounds or something, in a week. <sighs> um, but last week it stayed the same, or it went down like 0.1 pound. But I don't really count that. So we'll see what it is when I go into the doctor's office tomorrow, and I'm sure it will be up because I usually go to my doctor's appointments like early in the morning like even before I've eaten breakfast um so it's gonna be at four o'clock and I'm gonna have already been like eating throughout the day so I know it's gonna say that I weigh more but anyways this video is like super long and I'm just rambled on about whatever um when I get the diaper I'm almost done packing the diaper bag for the beach trip um I think I need to put like a bottle I might put two in there um I found a travel size lotion that I had from when I had Emily so I think I'm gonna throw that in there but it's pretty much packed so when I get a chance to do that video um for you guys um maybe I'll do that tomorrow before the at-home nurse gets here or after the at-home nurse leaves before my appointment but um I'll get that for you guys but I'll show you my belly real quick because this video is like already four, almost 14 minutes long okay so um, my nightgown's kind of short but I don't think you guys will see anything but like if you guys can tell like I don't know like I don't know it just looks different to me it looks like my belly's even in a little bit more um, but this was like up, like my ribs were sore, it was like up in here, but it's kind of like flattened, so, like, I feel like, even though it's like round-ish right here, I feel like this part has dropped a little bit, like I feel like it was up a little bit higher, but, oh, anyways, yeah, so this is, I guess this would be my, um, 33 week pregnancy belly and I know it's hard to tell because I'm wearing like a nightgown and my shirt's not very tight but yeah it's pretty big still but um I don't know I feel like he's dropped but I don't I don't know I don't know um so yeah sorry for the length of the video and I will talk to you guys all later bye